All right. So today, a client came in saying that their blow dryer, Twin Turbo 3200, would not stay on unless unless the power was plugged in. So the power is plugged in right now, and I'm getting nothing, nothing on this. Let's see if I push down the reset button. Nope. Oh, there we go. So it's blowing the uh, circuit in there. If I let go of that button. Curious. I'll show you the button that I'm pushing. This button, if I hold that down, it will run. To turn it off, I click the test button. Interesting. All right. So what I think is the pro uh, the problem is this switch right here has gone bad. So that's what I'm going to be replacing today. Okay. No response between off and the middle setting. This switch is bad, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. Here are the new switches that I got. Paid about ten bucks for them. believe these are exactly the same the only difference is going to be the color obviously this is for the heat and this is just for regular cold air pretty decent little guy all right so I'm gonna crack this open and see what we got going on in here those all right there's the inside so it looks like we have just three prongs we have to resolder hopefully that matches up looks like it's gonna match up nicely all right let's pull that out see any damage looks okay hmm. okay not too bad A little home soldering kit will be able to replace those Sorry about that, I had to get some stuff, but we're back. Alright, so we have Flux, which I have found to be super helpful. It's from Radio Shack, that tells you how old it is. I have found it to be super helpful as far as getting these uh, <clears throat> soldering joints to break. Because sometimes they're kind of old and uh, they just don't want to let go. So putting a little bit of this stuff on helps tremendously. And I'm just going to break these joints and pop this part out. Oh, my hands are a little shaky today. You usually want to have a fan running or something too, because this stuff's not the best to uh, inhale. 
this flux. So just having some kind of fan running or a window open or something is sufficient. And my little brush is getting stiff. Oh well. So hopefully we remembered which one goes where. Uh, that's going to be important. I don't see any visible damage, but I don't think you would anyway. It'd be on the inside. Uh, maybe something in there. Hard to say. Hard to say. All right, let's pop this new one in. One at a time. Yeah, this soldering stuff lasts a while. Right. I guess I don't do too much soldering work, but it, it lasts a long time, so... Just have to make sure it's bonded. It's probably good right there. Yeah, I'm sure that one's sufficient. All right. And the white one, and the length of the wires you should give it away too if you lose track. I would always recommend taking a picture before you get into something, um, just so you remember where you're at. But you can see the different wire lengths tell you where which one fits into which slot too, so that's helpful. This red wire is shorter, so obviously it goes in the first one. Did it right. Let's see. Did it enough? Okay. If you get into a lot of solder work, they have these tools where you can kind of clamp everything, uh, kind of hold everything together. It's these little stands that have multiple clamps on them. They're pretty helpful. But I don't do a whole ton of solder work, so I don't. I don't have one. Last one in. Make sure the time is right. That's right. So none of this is too complicated, but the, if you if you don't do a lot of solder work, the main thing to remember is just don't let any of that stuff touch. Like you don't want to accidentally uh, have have a bond between two of those wires, or it'll just short the whole thing out. Shoot, I'm gonna melt that. Okay, 
that's pretty good. Okay. Um, normally you'd want to close it up before trying it out, but I'm not going to do that. I am. That solder looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it open. Or actually, I'll probably just put the other cover back on top without screwing it in. Switch the seat in here. Yeah, seats. The seats pretty good. Good fit. Okay. Where's that cover at? And these all pop off. They have little clips in here. If you ever find yourself getting into these, they can be tricky. They have, well, some of them have like little lips on them that prevent it from uh, coming out cleanly right here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a little clip right here. It makes you think it's stuck when you just have to finagle it the right way. Okay. And these just should more or less go on but they never go on without a f yeah and the screws will cinch it up all right that's good enough to try it so let's see if that did it what you want to see. Alright, back in action. Cool. And that's how you replace... What would that take me? Like, uh, less than 10 minutes. Replacing a switch on a twin turbo 3200 blow dryer. Not bad.